This was well worth spending my money on because the amount of happiness this dress has bought me already. No man has ever made me this happy. A flowy dress with no belt means you can eat a lot of pasta and that is a life that I am all about. I've just compared this dress to Billy Ray Cyrus's haircut. What's up party people? Your gal is back at it again, pretending that she knows a single thing about fashion. Today, I am gonna be testing out Motel Rocks. If for some reason you've been living under a rock and you haven't heard of Motel Rocks, I've never used the word rock twice in one sentence before. They're like the perfect combination of edgy and girly, which is most of the time what I would describe as myself. My fashion sense is a little bit, or a lot, here, there and everywhere. Some days I wake up and I wanna be having afternoon tea at the Ritz. I've days I'm going for a grunge vibe and I want to like be seen on a skateboard. <laughs> Me on a skateboard lol. So that is why I feel that Motel Rocks is the perfect website for me because they cater for all of my different personalities. So before I jump on in and show you guys the first item, I wanna say a quick thank you to the lovely team at Motel Rocks because they have kindly gifted me some of the items for this video. Not all of them, but some of them. I am a genuine fan of Motel Rocks and I'm still gonna tell you my actual opinions of everything. So the first item that I picked out from the website is a midi skirt. I feel like Motel Rocks are known for their midi skirts. How cute is this? As you can see, it has a slit up one leg. I absolutely love this. The quality feels so lovely. It's got a little clasp and a zip up the side. The only thing I would say is if you're gonna order one of their midi skirts, I would probably go down a size because I'm usually a small to medium. So originally I got a small, but then I had to exchange it for an extra small just because I feel like they came up quite big. So just watch out for that. I am an extra small in this skirt and I'm usually a size eight to 10. So this is what the skirt looks like on. I'm actually obsessed with it. I love this slit up the leg. I feel like the slit makes all the difference because it just makes it a bit more like casual. Do you know what I mean? I just think this is a really nice autumnal outfit. I love the print as well. We love a little bold statement. And then I also picked up that exact same skirt in this green print. You've probably seen this print on the Motel Rocks adverts online. It is such a popular one. I absolutely adore it. It's exactly the same shape as the other skirt. I've also gone for the extra small in this one. This is what the little green skirt looks like on and this is how I'd probably style this one. I'd go for a more casual like converse or any white trainer. It would look really nice with a denim in jacket in the summer just really casual you know I feel like it's a brighter whiter outfit but again I really like the slit down the side it also doesn't come up too high you know you're very safe even if it's a windy day nothing's gonna get exposed the next thing I picked up this is quite bold for me I'm quite proud of myself for this one so this is a shirt dress Initially, you may think Pat Butcher vibes. However, look at this picture. Doesn't this outfit look incredible on that girl? Can't guarantee it's gonna look the same on Fab Hand, but I'm gonna try my best. I've even bought a fedora for the occasion. When I saw this outfit on the website, I just absolutely loved it. I think it looks so effortless, so cash. So I thought, do you know what, Han? Try it out, live life on the edge, live a little, be spontaneous. Life is short, you may as well live it. Get the leopard print shirt dress. By the way, guys, I'm really sorry if this is annoying, but I can't remember the prices for any of these items. Items. So I'm gonna link every single one in the description down below. If anything catches your eye, go and check it out down there. Your gal's got your back. She's just also got an awful memory. Okay, so I might not look exactly like this girl in the picture, but I do still quite like this dress. It's very different for me. It is very bold. It's another one that you can wear with trainers. You don't have to wear the hat with it. I'm just loving this hat right now. Never thought I'd be a fedora kind of gal until I discovered Motel Rocks. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you a fan of the leopard print dress or not? I love hearing your guys' opinions on the things that I pick out. Do you like it? Are you a fan? Can you see yourself wearing it or nay? The next couple of items that I picked up, I actually chose because I thought they would go with the skirts really well. So to go with the Dalmatian skirt, I chose this black top. I really like the neckline of this. And I think with the midi skirts, these tops are gonna come in so, so handy. So this is a little close up of the top. I'm just obsessed with this neckline. I just think it's really, really flattering. It's nice and comfortable. This is a size small and it is quite tight fitted on me, but I kind of like it like that. I also feel like it would be quite warm because it's so tight fitted. And then I also picked up the exact same top in this white slash ivory kind of color. I'm just obsessed with this neckline though. I absolutely love it. And this is what the white top looks like on. And I actually got this one in a size medium. So as you can probably tell, it's a little bit less tight fitted. It feels a little bit more comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. I do think that this one fits me a bit better. But again, the neckline, I absolutely love. I 
think it's so flattering. We love a cute neckline. Next up, we have a little slinky, slinky satin number. Look at the color of her. This is another one that I've seen a lot of girls on Instagram wearing. First of all, absolutely love this cow neck. I think it's such a flattering neckline. And it also comes with this little tie. I've seen people tie it at the front. I would probably tie it at the back though and have it as more like a bodycon fit from the front and then cutesy at the back. Just like a mullet, you know? Business in the front, party in the back. I've just compared this dress to Billy Ray Cyrus's haircut. I love being a fashion guru. And I also got this dress in a size extra small, so bear that in mind. I just love the colour of it. Dusty Rose. Isn't she a wonder? Isn't she wonderful? First of all, please ignore the socks. I cannot be bothered for the life of me to put heels on right now. But this dress how cute is she i feel like it's not coming across very well on camera but it's such a lovely color and the material of it looks so classy look how cute it looks tied up i love the little bow but like i said you could also tie it at the front let me try that out actually and see how that looks okay i'm back tying it at the front definitely makes it a more casual kind of dress it's less bodycon less fitted it's nice and comfortable but it still looks so cute oh my gosh let me know in the comments down below do you prefer the pink dress tied at the front or tied at the back so that it's a bit more fitted. Oh my god, oh my god. Hang on, this is one I'm really excited about. So the next dress that I ordered is also in this green print. And this is called the Alara dress. I got this in a size small. It fits me absolutely perfectly. I just love the shape of this. It is so cutesy, so girly. But when I try this on, I put it with a leather jacket and my DMs. Or you could wear any kind of like oversized boot or maybe like a Chelsea boot if you want to dress it up a little bit. Or some chunky trainers. Honestly, this dress looks nice with any type of shoe but i would definitely go for probably like a chunky boot and a leather jacket with this i really like mixing the vibes and when i tried this dress on i loved the fit of it so much that i hopped straight back onto motel rocks and ordered it in black honestly the fit of these dresses are my favorite fit of dresses that i've ever had i think if there's anything you're going to take away from this haul let it either be the midi skirts or the alara dress this is what the alara dress looks like on it's so flattering it's so comfy it's swift Swishy, it's breezy. Swishy, is that a word? I feel like this could be a really cutesy dress. You could put it with Converse and maybe a denim jacket in the summer. Or you can go for the vibe that I've gone for. I've put it with boots and I actually wore this out the other day with a couple of accessories. Let me show you. This is definitely my favourite way to wear this dress. And this is probably one of my favourite outfits in this haul actually. So I've got my Doc Martens on and then my leather jacket is from Pull and Bear. And this little fedora is from Pretty Little Thing. It was literally a tenner. I love this outfit. I am massively digging it. And then this is the Alara dress in black. Really comfy, really easy to wear. You could put a belt around this if you wanted to like cinch it in at the waist a little bit more. But to be honest, I quite like it just flowy. A flowy dress with no belt means you can eat a lot of pasta and that is a life that I'm all about. But then what I love about Motel is if say you're not a massive fan of the Alara dress but you are a fan of that print, it's more than likely that there's going to be a dress in the same print in a different style. So this one is a long dress. England, England, England. Why do they say England, not England? Anyway, oh my god, it's like a scarf too. But what I absolutely adore is the back of this. So it comes down really, really low. I uploaded a picture of me wearing this last week on Instagram. And I had so many of you guys messaging me asking me where it's from. This is another dress that I've seen a lot of girls wearing a long sleeve top underneath. So you'll be able to wear this in the autumn as well. Again, I'm not usually a long dress kind of person. I find them a bit intimidating in a weird way. But this one just feels so much more nice and casual. However, because of the back of this dress, this is strictly a no bra zone so depending how you feel about that is going to like alter your opinion on this dress unless of course you did go for the t-shirt underneath option i mean you probably wouldn't want to wear this without a bra on a cold day you know what i'm saying girls like obviously you couldn't really wear a bra with that but i just think it looks so pretty the next item is kind of a similar shape to the last one on a real one when i tell you guys that i have wanted this dress for weeks if not months not a single word of that is a lie if you're into like fashion or like you follow a lot of fashion instagram accounts i'm pretty sure you will have seen this picture somewhere floating about the internet. I saw this picture so many times and every time when it was a swipe up link I would swipe up, get my hopes up and then it was out of stock. 
However, here she is. I'm so happy about this. So this dress is mesh. It is completely see-through. It's got like the glitter sparkles on it. I feel like you could really dress this up or dress it down. This was well worth spending my money on because the amount of happiness this dress has bought me already. No man has ever made me this happy. You can't find this kind of happiness in another human, but you can find it on Motel Rocks. Oh, look at it sparkling. I feel so proud of it. It's like my child. It's been a long time in the making. Maybe not nine months, but yeah, I've been a long time. Time. I've done it. I've found the perfect outfit. I think this might be the last fashion video on my channel ever because what's the point after this? <laughs> so obviously this dress is just the mesh layer. I've seen a lot of girls go to like Ibiza and wear a bikini underneath it and stuff. However, I've just got a plain black bodycon dress on. You can kind of see like the two different necklines. I've got this little eyelet belt with it. This is from Pretty Little Thing. Again, you could go with the hat, you could go without the hat if you're going for more of like a party vibe. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest, like I'm not the most fashionable person in the game. However, this dress makes me feel like I'm actually an Instagram fashion guru. Obviously I'm not. This dress just made it incredibly easy for me to look like I am. Next up, we have a bit more of a casual item. So if you're not a dress kind of gal, never fear. An oversized sweatshirt is here. I love this. It's got a little cherub on it. It's grey, it's like washed, it's oversized, it's big, it's cosy. It's me, honestly. Items like this just get to me. I love oversized items. They make me feel like a little tiny... What are them things called? Oh, what were them things? They were like little rabbit figurines and they were like a little bit furry. Oh my God, it, oh, I'm gonna have to Google it. What do I even type in? I bet so many of you are screaming at your screen right now. They were like what the rich kids had. I never had them. Sylvanian families, that's the one. Oh my God, any 90s kids remember Sylvanian families? Are they still a thing? Anyway, that's what I was trying to say. Oversized items of clothing make me feel like a little Sylvanian family. Small, cute and cozy. So this is what the little cherub jumper looks like on. I'd wear this with black leggings or a pair of jeans or something but it could also be a really nice like slouchy cozy dress for if you're just at home. And last but not least my final item is a bit of more of a dressy dress actually. Oh look at her go. So this is called the Thule dress spandex black. I got this in a size small and as you can see it like does up with one singular button. I love the neckline of this. It's like a little bodycon dress. It's super stretchy though. Super comfy. So this black dress is super tight fitted but I love the detail at the top of the dress. I think it's so unusual. It's got like a bit of embroidery around this button. And even though it's tight fitted, it feels super comfortable because this material is really stretchy. The back of it is just pretty plain, but I love the high neck. I think that makes it look so classy. So my little petals, that brings us to the end of this video. I wanna say a big thank you again to the lovely team over at Motel Rocks for kindly gifting me some of these items. I honestly really appreciate it. You saw the amount of happiness that these items brought me. Let me know in the comments down below what what is your favourite item that I picked up? And also, have you ever shopped from Motel Rocks? Have you ever found an absolute diamond? If you have, I want to hear about it. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Not to blow my own trumpet, but I've got a funny one coming up. Bye!